president of SEIU and I'm incredibly proud and really happy to be here in Nashville today and just had a great conversation with the union convention of leaders all across Tennessee who are gathering today to make plans for the future of SEIU members all across this state. I think it's amazing that you have been making contract victories happen where you're winning wage increases and holding the line on health care in one of the toughest economic environments that our locals all across the country have seen. And one of the things we talked about is what do people think is going wrong with our country and what do we do as a union to fix it? Some of what we're seeing in this economy is that companies that are doing fine economically are taking advantage of our fear, right, by laying people off and then rehiring them. At, at lesser standards. Yeah, using them as temporary workers. Or using them as temporary workers. They just constantly keep on doing it month after month, year after year with no benefit. Right that there are more and more uh, unfair situations where companies are laying workers off and then rehiring them at lower pay with no benefits, just like the custodians in metro schools where we had custodians who earned thirteen seventy five an hour and are now being rehired by GCA at nine or nine seventy five an hour and can't afford the health care coverage that the GCA is now offering. So this is what's bad in our country that we have a situation where so many people are out of work that people are afraid to stand up and speak out against corporate abuse. People understand how much corporate America invested in this election? No. 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 Yes. Working people were outspent <laughs> in this election. For every dollar our our movement, working people, spent, corporate America spent eight. It is the widest gap in any election in our lifetime because of the Supreme Court decision that allowed unbridled right. spending. Right. People feel like corporate America bought elected officials that are going to stand with them in the future and not with us. I think the impact of the Citizens United decision is that hundreds of millions of dollars that don't have to be disclosed in terms of where they came from poured into this last election under names that don't reflect who's doing it. So it's like Taxpayers of America, Partnership for America's Future, were these groups that were created overnight and we believe we're funded by big oil, big pharma, big banks to make sure that they elected officials that are not going to uh, impose any regulation or any checks and balances on their behavior. And so we talked about the union's plan to have a fight for a fair economy that we think we need to lead with making a demand at the federal level, the state level, and the city level that we get back to work and that good jobs are created where people can support their family, have health care, and retire with dignity. The fight for a fair economy has four parts. One is a decision that we're going to organize millions of workers in the private sector with other parts of the labor movement like we've never done before. Two is that we want to have a program and plan to get America back to work which we think includes making sure we fix our broken immigration system because when 11 million workers have different rights from the rest of us, it means employers can continue to divide us against ourselves and lower wages for all of us. And then the third thing we're trying to do is make sure we build an army of member leaders 
and we need to get to 200,000 in SEIU. And then the fourth thing is to make sure that SEIU doesn't do this alone that we're able to join with the rest of the labor movement and our community allies to make this demand until we win.